This is Twit. HoloLens 3. Now, I've heard conflicting back and forth reports on this, and I figured yeah. uh, while I was on vacation, it came to me. You know who would know? <laughs> Paul and Mary Jo. I'm not dead. Is yeah. it dead? What's going on? <laughs> okay. So uh, this is based on a Business Insider report. That see, I, I read through the whole thing, and I'm like, you know what? It seems credible to me. Um, yeah. I don't I don't know for a fact if HoloLens 3 got canceled in the middle of 2021 or not. I think it's very telling about HoloLens that no one noticed if it did get canceled in the middle of 2021 mm -hmm. until now. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> but the, yep. the story says Microsoft canceled it. Um, their whole metaverse strategy is in disarray, which I agree. I disagree with because right now HoloLens has absolutely no connection to what Microsoft's doing in the metaverse. I mean, very, okay. Yeah. Not none, but very tangential. Right? Um, right, right. They, and then they kind of went back and said, you know, those reports you've read from the wall street journal and other places saying how hundreds of Microsoft people have quit to join meta like Don box, who you're talking about and a lot of other, people mm -hmm. to work on their um <laughs> basically their equivalent they were version. after the uh the stock options but <laughs> yeah oh God, that's what i said i'm like now, no they wanted the money they, are they a little wanted underwater the money. now <laughs> how do you feel about ferraris <laughs> yeah yeah no and then alex kipman got in the middle of it and he said i saw i see some people saying hololens 2 was canceled and we shipped that in 2019 well a lot of people in the uh, chat room and may remember <laughs> yep. it did get canceled. How, there was going to be a HoloLens yep. 2 in 2017 and they canceled it and came out that's with right. a HoloLens in 2019 that they called the HoloLens 2. Which I think would that's have been what's HoloLens going on. 3, by the way. <laughs> yeah. That, that's uh, what I think yeah. is happening, right? Like, I, I'm like, right. okay, they may have canceled HoloLens 3, but they're going to come out with something at some point called HoloLens, so, right? Uh, look, <laughs> what, do, what do you think Alex Kipman is going to say? Alex Kipman, right. the only guy left with the light on and the door behind him in this part yeah. of Microsoft, because everyone has yeah. left. Obviously, yeah. he's going to say nothing's wrong, everything's fine. He has to say yeah. that. So he does. His yeah. commentary on this, I think, could you, all you need to know <laughs> about it is he didn't tell you the truth about what happened to Hollands too. So you can skip the rest of that tweet. It's just, <laughs> it's just wrong. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's very clear a lot of people have left Microsoft in that part of the company to go to Meta, especially. Yeah. This, this is a fact. Right. I mean, this has just it happened. Is. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I think you're right. I, I think it's, this is the same situation as before. They're recalibrating, um, yep. uh, pardon the pun, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> right. There, you know. So there, the monkey wrench in all of this is uh, Business Insider throws in this other thing and says they're also working with Samsung on a consumer version of this. Which is right? nuts. And that's, By the way, that which is nuts. That So no, if they I mean, are... No, no, they are. We already know they are. They we Samsung do? has been making mixed reality headsets for years. Yeah, but um, this but is they not, made it sound like it's not that necessarily, but I, like some so future thing. what I what I mean by nuts is I don't think that has anything to do with Hololens. That Microsoft, like you, kind of alluded Same. to this up front. Microsoft has yeah. mixed reality solutions, which yeah. is VR, right? Like these headsets for Windows, and it has yeah. AR, which is a standalone headset called Hololens. All of Microsoft's VR competitors now have moved to like standalone headset type things. Yeah. It's possible that what Microsoft is working on with Samsung and probably with other partners is a standalone VR, or what they would call an MR headset. And that mm -hmm. could be new and that's fine. But that doesn't impact HoloLens. There's always been a, a very distinct difference yeah. between the two platforms. You know, mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. similar things, but they're not the same thing. Right. So Plus, I you know, don't... Microsoft does have that $22 billion contract with the Army for HoloLens-like yeah. technology, right? And that contract right. is running behind. That is a fact. It's not working out as they wanted it to. But I can't imagine, unless the Army cancels that contract, that Microsoft would just be like, you know what? Forget right. it. We're not doing HoloLens, right? Forget it. But I could imagine <laughs> them saying, you know what? This, cons not consumer, but this enterprise product, that has, you know, has found a, a market and niche uses for whatever companies is doing okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This government thing, this army thing is way more important. We're going to put whatever resources we have into making mm -hmm. this thing, which is no doubt a cust highly customized, secretive kind of side project yeah. that you could call a Holland's 2.5 or something, whatever, something mm -hmm. completely, you know, not completely, but slightly different. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, they're going to put their focus on that. Yeah. And I think with all those um, people leaving... You know, what are you yeah. going to do? You got to focus on right. the thing that's making the money. You do. You do. Um, also, 
remember when we were talking about at CES Qualcomm making that weird announcement about working with Microsoft on chips for augmented right. reality right. and mixed reality. Now that announcement makes way more sense that Microsoft didn't say anything at the time, right? Because it yeah. was Qualcomm who announced it and they didn't say it was going to be for the HoloLens. They just said for future, um, you know, mixed reality uh, XR devices. So it, they could have been referring to the Samsung thing when, when they talked right. about that, right. right? That might be what they, why, that might be why Microsoft said nothing. There is because a, they were like, yeah, what are we going to say? There's right. a huge <laughs> divide between a consumer-oriented virtual reality yeah. headset, no matter how it connects to anything, and yeah. an augmented reality headset that so far has been um, aimed at the enterprise market and now government slash military. Yeah. Right? right. These are these are you know, we were talking Very about different. Atari video right. games earlier. It's like comparing you know comparing like a battle zone to an actual tank. <laughs> you know, like yeah. they're yeah. they're similar, you know, but they're not the same thing. Right. I, I thought there was D Daniel Rubino on Windows Central wrote a good editorial about this. And he brought up the fact that, you know, the reason everyone's looking at this is because Apple's going to come into the market. Right. And so more and more sure. people are like, OK, what's going to happen here? Microsoft already has a head start, but does it even matter? Um, you know, Samsung needs to compete with Apple because they don't really have a way directly to. Right. So. Um, you know, what if Samsung and Microsoft well, work together as Samsung does the hardware, Microsoft, but then you're like, what does Microsoft contribute here, right? If it, if Samsung does the hardware and if it has to be Android, mm -hmm. like what's Microsoft doing in that picture? Maybe they're bringing what is now called Windows Mixed Reality to Android. Right. And that's how they Maybe. do it as a standalone product. Maybe it made more Maybe. sense than a Windows on our Yeah, you don't need a full board general purpose operating system. You don't. Yeah. You don't want it. The other thing is, um, you know, re regarding Apple, by the way, I mean, as far yeah. as like AR goes, real world usage, um, I bet the number one AR application in the world is like Pokemon Go or something very yeah, exactly. similar to that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, on a phone. Right. Well, right. We and if, if you look at AR solutions on like an iPhone or an iPad, especially, we uh, honestly... That's way more of a mainstream experience where you could walk mm -hmm. into a museum and do the thing I always talk about. We have a dinosaur skeleton in front of you and you hold up your iPad, then you see the dinosaur, you know. Mm -hmm. um, people are doing that now. Right. No one's walking. You can't do anything with a V. What are you going to do with a VR headset? You can't walk around with those things on. No. Right. Mm -mm. You know, it's a different mm -mm. It's a different type of experience. And you might argue on that note, Apple is already in the lead without even having a headset. Yeah. Just as far as people actually using it, you know. I don't know if it's misdirection, yeah. but when uh, they uh, asked Tim Cook about it last week in the earnings call, yeah. he said, "Well, we have the largest number of AR applications in the world on iPhone yeah. and iPad." Well, there you go. That, but that's actually that's almost certainly true. Like that. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. That's where the mainstream is. They're using it on their mm -hmm. phones or maybe their iPads. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, you know, VR nope. VR has been that thing we've been looking for for years and years and years. It has a niche, kind of a space, especially in gaming, and yeah. an even smaller niche among people who are just doing experiential things, really mm -hmm. flying virtually through a rainforest or something, or a kelp farm or whatever it is. But yeah. um, and that's cool. I mean, I'm not I'm not making fun of that, but I mean, it's not yeah. it's just not something we're all not we're all zoning out in front of TV still. No one we're not zoning out together mm -hmm. on a couch with headsets on, right? That's just yeah. not really happening, right? You know, when, when Microsoft did the HoloLens, I used to always think, why does it have to be a Windows device? Like, why does yeah. it have to be a mini version of Windows in there? Um, because well, Microsoft has other operating systems, right? They have, they own yeah. um, the embedded operating system. What's it called? Um, RTOS, right? They they have Azure uh, IoT Core and Azure IoT Edge. Like, why, I'm like, why can't they so use something else and stream the content from the cloud somehow. I think right. the answer to that, and this, I'm not defending this. I'm just saying, I think the actual answer is they had that one windows idea where they were going to have a single programming right. platform that was going to work across yep. all these device types, phones, yep. headsets, consoles, windows computers. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. And we can debate whether that made sense when they did it. We know it hasn't really worked out. Right. Um, but I think that's why, you know, the first version of HoloLens, wasn't it? Yeah. It was Intel based. The second version mm -hmm. is ARM based, I think. Mm -hmm. it I think is. We might have talked yeah. about this last week. I don't remember. But yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, it's. Yeah. Why is it right? I, because why does the why does a whale have a vest, you know, a vestigial leg in the rear of his body? Because 
What? It goes back to the past. What? You know, no, because yep. it, it was Where's a thing a long time thing? ago. Come on. <laughs> it was, no, it's, this is really, <laughs> what? It's, it, this was a thing for this animal a long time ago. This platform was a thing for Microsoft. No, you're right. You're right. In the no, past. You, they had, I, you're right. They had the crazy, maybe not so crazy idea of one Windows everywhere. When that fell apart, though, it feels like shouldn't have they got, shouldn't they have gone back to the drawing board and said, okay, so that was a bad idea. Right, like that didn't work. We we don't have Microsoft a phone can anymore. never <laughs> they, can, they can never turn their back on anything. That's one of the problems yeah. with this company. But maybe that's you know, what's they, happening now, right? Maybe maybe somebody, um, probably not Alex Kipman, but somebody is saying, "Why are we running this on Windows right now? Like, does this make yeah. sense to do this?" Right. Yep. Is there something lighter weight? And and, and yeah. I always thought, even when uh, UWP was new, or I should say, when UWP was new, I always sort of argued that for this thing to be truly universal. They should have brought it to Android and the web, yep. <laughs> you know, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yep. And um, I that maybe if you could run your apps on Android, then this, what we're describing could make, by the way, that may be literally what they're about to do. I have no idea. I mean, yeah. I, yep. um, maybe that's finally happening. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I keep thinking streaming is going to play in. Like they figured out how to do virtualizing. Yeah. Of games. They figured out how to do virtualized Windows with Windows 365, the cloud PC stuff. I'm like, there's got to be a streaming mm -hmm. angle to this because they've got the cloud, right? You you think, what do they have as their assets? They've got the cloud, right? And, right, they, and right. they've got a deal with Samsung. So what can they do combining these two things when you don't have a phone of your own in the middle? Mm -hmm. Interesting. How do, you, how do you make this work, right? Yep.